Brothers! What we do with our LGS echoes in eternity. On my signal, unleash the packs. How's it going, YouTube? Tabletop Dad here. And yes, I'm normally a huge patron to my LGS Easy Gamer in Columbus, Nebraska. Matter of fact, I just stopped in there the other night and got a bunch of sealed product. So we're going to be able to open those on the channel going forward. Really excited for that. And I'm even more excited because just recently, WotC announced we're actually going to be able to go back and play sanctioned events at our LGSs this coming Friday. So stoked about that. Leave a comment down below if your LGS is going to be having a grand reopening celebration, doing anything fun and exciting. Also, while you're at it, if you haven't had a chance, don't forget to click those like and subscribe buttons down below. Also, click that bell icon so you get notifications of our future videos. Now, like I said, I normally patronize my LGS, but in this case, I was in my big box store and MJ Holdings had a new product ish come out for this time of year and it's their magic the gathering mystery cubes however this time around these are the commander editions so they have a guaranteed two booster packs one commander deck inside and a cool little plastic storage cube now we're gonna crack these babies open see what cool commander decks we got inside crack the pack see if we got any added value in there and see if these MJ Holdings Commander Edition Mystery Cubes are actually worth buying or not. All right, line these babies up. Got some exciting stuff in there. You know what, I'm gonna crack every one of these out of their plastic real quick. So we can just get to opening the packs. Exelon, War of the Spark, Core 2019, Core 2019, and Core 2019. All right. So there we have it. Three Core 2019s and a mishmash of other stuff on the other side. So we're going to start. You know what? We're going to start with the left. There. Pretty decent little cubes, I must say. All right, our first mystery cube for 2019. We got a scholar, Archer, Uncommons. And our rare, what will it be? It's a Sarkon's Unsealing. Actually got some commander playability on that one. No foil, just a land, all right. Not a whole lot of added value there. How about our War of the Spark? Not Japanese, but still pretty cool anyway. Stealth Mission. Cruelty. Watley's Raptor. Emergent Zone. Ashiok Dream Render. Cool card. And we got the Awakening of Vitugazi. No foil in there either. Alright, so we got one decent common. Uncommons. Awaken of Vitugazi. There's our packs. And what will our exciting commander deck be? Popular formats. All right, should we reveal the face card? I say we do. It's an Amanatu the Fate Shifter with some damage, which is fine. 
to be expected that's I'm assuming how they put these together but you know what I actually didn't get a chance to purchase one of these when these were uh, sitting on the shelves for forever it's actually a relatively valuable commander deck you got the Lich Queen net bunch of the tokens there Uncommons, Rip Swap's a good one, Light Form's a good one, Return to Dust, Brainstorm's great, Mold Rifter, Ninja, Ponder, good one, Portent, Redict, Telling Time, you got the Treasure Hunt, Esper Charm, Mortify, Signet Sphere, Crystal Ball, another Signet. Did a looks like they did a fairly decent job with the ramp in this. Like we got one of each Signet. Charger, Balance, Augury, nice. Primordial Mist, Entreat the Dead. Night Incarnate, great art on that one. Mark Poole, great job. The Skull Storm. Really expensive casting cost there. But. Eureka. Isolated Watchtower, sweet. Treat the Angels. Avatar, Army of the Damned. Infinite Combo Ability. Alicar Valkyrie. Vengeance, Terminus. Conundrum, Devastation Tide. Jin, Infiltrator. Sphinx, Sphinx. Delver, Aether Mage's Touch, Seer, Enigma Sphinx, cool, Penance, Silent Blade Oni, Other End, some more ramp, and we got some lands. Alright, so we got Forge of Heroes, Sanctum, Chancery, Gilgate, Baronmore, Man Tower, Aqueduct, Sanctuary, Halimar Depths, nice. Sandbar, Basilica, Step, Refuge, Boneyard, and Cove. Eh, pretty cool. Overall, not too bad of a commander deck there. I will definitely be utilizing many cards out of that one, that is for sure. All right, let's move on to our middle. What are we gonna have in this one? Make sure we don't spoil it. 2019 Ixalan. Another awesome cube. Cube for a cube. Build a two-player cube and put it in there. All right, take this out of the wrapper. And we're gonna crack oh, 2019 first. Is there something exciting in here? We shall see. Anticipate, not bad. Rest. Another archer. Alien. Skeleton. Sift. And a gore claw. And no foil again. Alright. Ixalan with air in it. That's kind of weird. Huh. It was puffy. Puffy, puffy, and it won't open. There we go. And it's upside down. And halfway through the pack, we're upside down. Boy, what is going on there? Dive down, good card. Warfire, Aerialist, Sire and Storm Tamer, good card. Coppola, Warden of the Waves, and no foils. All right. That's that. Let's take a look and see which commander we got. Arapo, wow. Now that's a hit and a half. Yeah, this is definitely a huge price jump. Since this was sitting on a shelf. Very cool. 
got some tokens. White Sun Zenith. Abundance. Hunter's Prowess. Soul's Majesty. Zendikar Resurgent. Always a popular card. Lion. Shoba. Argentum Armor. Grappling Hut. Quietest Spike. Staff of Nan. Sword of the Animus. Sword of Vengeance. Moss Warp Bridge. Stirring Wildwood. See, this one's like backwards compared to the last one. Path of Ancestry. Blighted Woodland. Blossoming Sands. Command Tower. Elfame Palace. Interesting. Evolving Wilds. Grasslands. Slow Fetch. Tap. Croson Bird. Ramp. Good card. Myriad Landscape. Opal Palace. Rogue's Passage. The Salt. Rusted Step. Secluded Step. Guildgate. Sanctuary. Temple of False God. Terramorphic Expanse. Tranquil Expanse. Thicket. Meadow. Grove. Curse. Curse. Heirloom Blade. Actually, let's go ahead and put the lands over there. Get all the equipment together. We got Heirloom Blade, Herald's Horn, nice. Dem, Relic Warder, Explorer, Shikari, Swordsmith, Wing Shards, Crushing Vines, Cultivate, Harmonize, Pilgrimage, Relic Crush, Saber Tooth, Sledge, Wazali Bride Mage, Ramp, Ramp. Hero's Blade, Lightning Greaves, Luxodon Warhammer, Skull Clamp, Ramp Soul Ring, Spoots, Random Planes just sitting in there. I haven't come across Nizan's Hammer yet though, and since these things are so out of order, it's almost like somebody rifled through these. Weird. Okay, Leonin, Lynx, Kindred Summons, Slingers, Traverse the Outlands. Oh, there it is. Bloodboard Battle Axe. Hammer of Nizan. Which is all gold main. Marari's Wake. Divine Recognizing. Jareth Kemba. Leonin Arbiter. Shakiri. Didn't we already have one of those? Golden Cub. Route. Sets Tiger and Spirit of the Heart. Yeah, this is a pretty, pretty nasty deck. Oh, okay. Different Shakiri. Pretty naughty deck, I will say that, man. Awesome to pull it out of one of these. Really excited for that one. Arabo, the cat dude. Eminence is broken. Boy, be excited for another Commander 17 deck. Now that I know that there's potential for those in here. All right, there it is. Spark for 2019. And our last Cuba Majig. All right, here we go. Start with the core. Anticipate again. Elvish Rejuvenator. Rose Gloves. Gaspar Twins. Another Sept and our rare is Valiant Knights. Hey, we got a Foil Rare Dark Dweller Oracle. Not a big hit, but you know what? It's a foil wear anyway. We will take it. Glass sealed pack. Reaver, Sage, Triumph, Kazmina, and what would our rare mythic gonna be? Soul Diviner. Ah, 
There you go. There are sealed packs. One more mystery commander deck to go. What will it be? Will it be something incredibly spicy? Let's take a look. Gavi, the Nest Warden, Commander 20. Warden, Akeem, Raylan, Partners. Interesting. Shabraz, the Sky Shark. Sky Shark Rider. Very cool. So we've got those four. Got some tokens. A dinosaur cat token. Look at that dino cat. Ash Barons, Chancery, Garrison. Well, hey, at least they put all the bounce lands together. Man Tower, Cycling Lands. Boiler work. Well, I forgot about that one. Cycling. That's right. This is the cycling deck. Of course, it's going to have a lot of cycling lands in it. Cryptic Trilobite. Mantling Wave. Herald of the Forgotten. Crystalline Resonance. Forger. Fierce Guardianship. The counter spell that's free. Wow, so definitely a good, good commander deck here as well. Master Drift. And you know, I'm pretty sure that one card is worth more than what a commander deck actually costs. Spirito. Hamster. Good card. Nemizit. Locust gods in here too. Wow. Sarcophagus. Fluctuator. Sarcosis crawler. Exotic orchards. Great. Prairie Stream, Irrigated Farmland, Shivan Reef, Expanse, Bonders Ornament, cool. Arcane Signet in here, Azorius Signet, Boros, Mandersphere, Izzet, Solring, Rogren. These are Uncommons, Connaissance Mission, Zenith Flare. It doesn't do damage to everybody, right? It's target. Yeah, I need target. Yeah, see this? The cycling deck just seems like it'd be hard to win with since everything's targeted. In. But hey, there's some great cards in there. Fierce Guardianship. A great card overall. You know, even if we didn't pull these awesome commander decks like we did, we came out extremely well on these. Uh, I would still say at $34.95, even if you pulled a dud commander deck, you're still going to get your individual value out of the cards. Not to mention this two sealed packs of magic sets. So you're probably looking about four bucks a piece there. So you got eight dollars in sealed packs alone. So that means you're you're really only paying about twenty-six for the commander deck. So even if you pulled a dud one, I don't see how you could go wrong with these mystery cubes. Commander edition with a guaranteed commander deck inside of them. I fully recommend running out to your big box store to see if they have any of these sitting on the shelves and snagging them up. Tons of value available in here for a limited time, I'm sure. Totally gonna give these particular mystery cubes two thumbs up and an A plus rating. I hope you enjoyed this latest video from Tabletop Dad. It's late spring, early summer. Get out of the house and enjoy the outdoors while the weather's still nice as much as you can. If you're having some icky weather, don't forget to have a nice draft with your friends and family around your dinner table or enjoy playing any other tabletop game that you enjoy playing. And God bless.